In terms of what my participation today will do for the city of Augusta, it will allow us to not only to tap into the resources here at Georgia Tech, obviously when you think about autonomous vehicles and some of the work that we're doing in Augusta, Georgia uh, with our low speed vehicles and our region, quite frankly, in our community, 85 to 90 percent of the world's low speed vehicles are made there in Augusta, Georgia. And so being able to leverage the horsepower, the technology, uh, and the innovation here at Georgia Tech through this Smart Cities conversation and some of the initiatives that we are looking at in terms of one of our main corridors in Augusta Broad Street where we'll begin making some transportation enhancements in the days ahead when you think about signaling and some of those opportunities by this partnership and the conversations that are taking place today. Uh, also, uh, we were recently named a work, work city through the Bloomberg Foundation. So there's an open data policy effort that we have going on with the city of Augusta where not only internally are we looking at how we can best use data to make data-driven decisions, but making that information available to our citizens and even in the business community when possible so that they can help us make better decisions about how we deliver on government services, whether that's providing for transportation, water, uh, environmental services or even public safety. How do we best do that in, in this world of innovation and technology? Again, around that whole smart cities concept, I think that's what will happen with uh, what we take away from today.